Well, good afternoon, all. Uh, thanks uh, for joining once again to our webinar series on CTC tools. My name is Arimel Laksamana, and I'm one of SolidCAD's account manager for the infrastructure GIS team. Joining me today is Colin Kade, our productivity tool specialist, and one of our many tech consultants with SolidCAD. Today, we will showcase Line Type Manager, which is a free tool in the SIM Manager suite. Just by downloading the free trial, you'll have access to this tool. This tool will allow you to manipulate, create, and preview line types. It's a user-friendly interface, which allows you to preview line type configuration in real time. Here's our agenda for today. We'll discover as to whom SolidKit and CTC software are and what we do. Colin will talk about creating and editing AutoCAD line types as it's done natively today, and illustrate how to speed up line type management in your template and drawing files, thus avoiding having to edit line types in an AutoCAD.lin file, which is tedious. We'll conclude our session with a discussion at the end, so please type in those questions in the Q&A icon below your screen. For those that are new to SolidCAD and what we do, we're an authorized Autodesk reseller that's kept a platinum partner status for well over 25 years, the highest bestowed on a company. We specialize in technology that helps support clients in industries such as architecture, engineering, construction, civil infrastructure, and manufacturing. Through our services in consultation, training, workflow assessment, technical support, SolidCAD has delivered solutions to our clients to help maximize ROI for their investments. There are several types of services we provide to our civil clientele. From conducting online training courses for your new civil 3D users, template creation, to our infrastructure university events, SolidCAD's aim is to keep you well ahead of the latest technological advancements. We have a dedicated combined team of 11 civil specialists located coast to coast, ready to assist you in various time zones with training facilities and offices spanning across Canada. Now SolidCAD has incorporated CTC software as part of our product line because we wanted to be partnered with the industry leaders in productivity tools. Since 2010, CTC has developed add-ins for Civil 3D and Revit. They have established membership with Autodesk as part of the developer network, leading the pace in developing BIM and SIM technologies and software services. As of 2019, these express tools have been used by more than 64,000 users worldwide and in more than 75% of top firms in the United States alone. Now I'll hand it over to my colleague for a demo on line type manager. Colin? Let's dive right into this. So we'll talk about some line type management today. Um, we'll take a look at some of the existing workflows and how to accomplish that through editing and manipulating a .lin file. Uh, and then we're also going to look at a free third-party tool that's going to make your life a heck of a lot easier when we're trying to do this uh, on our own for the first time or even if we're a seasoned veteran kind of thing with, with editing line types. It's going to make things a lot easier for us. Uh, let's take a look at how we do this today, though. So the average steps, if you've already got uh, an ACAD LIN file or a company LIN file that we're working with, we have to locate that LIN file. Uh, open it up in Notepad or something like that, and decipher what the heck it says. Uh, because a lot of us, most of us, do not know how to read a LIN file correctly. Uh, so we'll look at a little bit of that today. Um, but then we go through the process of editing it, removing line types, adding additional line types, and then saving and loading that back into our, our Civil 3D drawing or our AutoCAD drawing. Uh, and then we can test to see if those line types we created or edited actually work the way we want them to. Uh, the problem with this though is you have to, one, understand the language uh, of how to read a LIN file, two, 
you're in and out of different applications uh, and it can get very time consuming loading files back in loading a lin file back into civil 3d to repeatedly test and the tweaks that you're trying to do because at the end of it all the only way we can actually test these line types is to actually get them in our autocad drawings and find out if they look like what we were trying to make um, so to start things off we'll look at this option as well um, but let's talk kind of right from the start how do we actually create uh, a line type from scratch um, it involves uh, very simple objects like lines shapes and text um, and we have to keep in mind that we don't want uh, complex objects and what I mean by that is we want to break things down to their simplest form so we're working with single line text we're working with only lines not polylines um, and then we're using some commands that most of us have probably never used before um, the mk line type command so let's take a look at how to do this in civil 3d and then we'll come back and take a look at how we can do this a lot more efficiently uh, using some third-party tools so let's flip over into civil 3d and we'll take a look at how to create a line type from scratch so I've got a nice little block here that needs to be created um, or that's been created and surveyed but if I zoom in here I don't have any defining line types for my sanitary storm water or or overhead hydro and I'd like to be able to identify those a little bit more effectively in my design let's take a look at how to create a line type file to start so I'll set myself on layer 0 and simply create a little line. We'll go one unit. I'll zoom in here. And then we can grab some text. So I'll go to the annotate tab and grab some multi-line text. I like to keep it on standard because that, that text style is going to be in most drawings. So we don't have to worry about the text style not being in a drawing uh, and having issues with not being able to produce a line type because we don't know where that textile is. So OH maybe, just like that. Now I'll drag this down. Um, maybe I'll adjust the drag my properties across and adjust the justification to middle center so that I've got kind of a, a snap and I can snap right to the center of this line awesome uh, maybe I need to go we'll go an extra 0 0.5 to give us a little more pattern and snap to the insertion get ourselves back perfect now a couple things that have to happen now one this has to be single line text and this shouldn't be a polyline so I'll take both of these and explode them then I can just draw a simple rectangle roughly getting about there and the reason I'll do that is because I'd like to trim everything out of here so that I've got a gap where the letters are that's a nice pattern to get overhead hydro or however you'd like to show it now how do we create this well there's a command mkl type enter it automatically saves this to a lin file I'll just toss this on my desktop for now and we'll call this overhead hydro and it'll save it as a lin file now we haven't clicked anything yet but if we look in the command line what's the name of this line type overhead hydro 
What's the description? Oh. Entered the description as hydro. We can come back and fix that later. Now, the next thing I have to enter in here is the starting point to the ending point, and then select the pattern that I'd like. Looks good. It was created and it was loaded. So now let's, we don't need any of this anymore. Let's maybe just draw a big rectangle and apply that line type to it. We're looking for the line type overhead. Excellent, and that comes in pretty nicely. Now, what if I wanted a little bit more gap between these OHs? Well, that would require me to go and find that line type file. So go to my desktop and open up Overhead Hydro. Now, this is what a very simplistic line type file looks like. It starts with a star or an asterisk anytime that we start a name. Then we've got the name followed by a comma followed by the description. So I could change this overhead underscore hydro. And I could put hydro lines Ground. Now, here's the definition of that line type. We've got A, and this marks the starting point of the pattern. Then we've got a distance for the line. Anytime you have a negative, that means that's the distance for a space. And then we've got right in here all of the stuff to do with the text. So what it actually says, the text style, a Y offset, our size, and the U equals represents a, a readability. So your plan readability essentially to make sure that it's always showing upright. Uh, if we set it to zero, that means it's working. Then we've got another space and another line to finish it off. Now I could come in here and try and tweak some of this. I would essentially like a little bit more of a line on either side of this. So what if I went uh, maybe an even six on either side? I can specify six there and I can come over here and specify six over here. I have to say file save, jump back into Civil 3D and use the LT enter to open up the line type manager text box to then load that lin file back in. Now we'll have to go sort through and find that lin file. I've got a couple here, but I need to go over here and grab overhead hydro. Open, select the line type I'd like to load. Now in this case, we're going to get both of them because I've changed the name. I could simply delete this one here instead. No, nope. after I take things and apply the new line type. Click OK, and that's loaded into the drawing. So now I can take this and test that out to see how it looks. So I've got my new one and my old one. Now, I was kind of hoping for a larger gap. So I may have to go do this again back into the lin file, edit things, and then re-import it, reload it back in, and then test it out again. This can get really tedious to go back and forth and do this. Um, and that's just one small lin file. What if I've got a line type file for my entire company that looks more like this, with a ton of different ones? And now we start to get into these definitions of divided dot. Well, you have to remember, asterisk is the start of a new, lin or a new line type. I've got the name. 
I've got the description, which is all of this, and they're trying to mimic what it might look like. Then I've got the A to signify the start of a pattern, a unit, a space, a zero represents just a simple dot, a space, a dot, a space. Repeat the pattern. This can get very tedious. Now let's try and load this one in and see how we can apply this. So I'll go LT, enter. Open up my line types and I'm going to load. Now it's looking to load line types from the ACAD.lin, but I've got a different one that I'd like to use. And it's located right here in this res block line types. So this might be all of my line types for a residential block or for that type of project. I've separated them out into their own separate lin file. I can open that line type file and immediately I get an error here. Bad definition of gas line two at line 103. Have you ever seen this before? <laughs> we click OK. I still get to load line types in here and let's just load all of these. I'll shift select and click OK. Reload all line types. But now I'd like to go and maybe apply, well, actually I don't have my gas line two in here. I've got gas line, but I don't have gas line two. So we'll click OK. And that said that it was at line 103. Let's go to the res block lin file and we'll try and find line 103. And you could count all the way down. And then you could get there and realize, okay, this is it. What's wrong with it? There's a bad definition. I'm not sure. Well, this is going to happen a fair bit to you. Um, and speaking from me knowing this data set, I know that the issue, and you guys may not know this, this is the text style. So this text style was not ever loaded into this drawing and therefore, the line type can't show that text style. So the line type's broken. This happens far too often. Now I could simply fix this and type in standard and then load that line type in. But we wouldn't know this off the hop. And we'd spend a lot of time trying to figure out why the heck this line type isn't working for us. I'm not gonna save this. And I'll jump back into our PowerPoint here. All of this to work with lin files and sourcing them out, the error codes that we get, they're not super helpful. And we have a lot of stuff that we'd like to edit and tweak and get a little bit more. And I find we compromise with line types a lot because it's so much work to go back and forth and edit those line types to get the perfect line type that we're looking for. The new way to do this, and the only way to do this now, is with CTC's Line Type Manager. I'm going to show you guys how this works, and it is so much easier to create and work with line types because it breaks down the line type .lin file language into common English. Um, and we're able to go in and edit different line types and create new line types, all with a live preview down at the bottom with a scale that we can edit. This is so much easier than having to work within lin files and load files back in. You can do everything right from this one interface right inside Civil 3D and it'll or AutoCAD actually because it works for both Civil 3D and AutoCAD. I don't want to forget to mention that. And it will write this all back out. Any edits you make in here, it'll write them back out to that .lin file and load them into Civil 3D for you. It's the only way to do it from here on out. So let's jump back into Civil 3D and take a look at how we can achieve all of this. If I go to my Sim Manager Suite, this is where this tool is stored. Now, there's a lot of darker blue ones here. Those are the paid version, or those are the, uh, the paid tools. This one was too great and too simple. Um, 
so we made it free for everyone and that's why it's a lighter color it sticks around after the trial and you get it forever let's open up the line type manager and this is the interface we get to look at all of these in plain English it's not an asterisk to start each one of these it's simply this is the border this is the border description this is how it's created and not only that we get a preview down here at the scale that we're looking for a one to two it's gonna look slightly bigger here now we can click open and that's what I've already done so I've opened up this res block file and that's what's in here right now as we scroll down we can filter out so I could look for gas okay cool there's two gas lines here well let's go look at this one it looks pretty good gas line 2 on the other hand there's no preview so that's how we know that this one's broken here we can go and edit this line type and we're not stuck with these commas and spaces and negative units and things like that this is broken out into very plain English so we can start making tweaks in here these are all broken into the individual components this is the distance for the space this is the distance for the line this is the text information and this is where I could come in and start testing some of this maybe this was misspelled maybe it's Roman s does it load no still not so it probably means that I don't have the romance text style in here but I know that I've got the standard text style in here so I can get the the standard text style and here we go it works we can look at this at a different scale and maybe say that this isn't actually the way I wanted this I would rather this be gas main well that looks pretty good but now my my space is off at the back here so let's change that to seven and I can see how this looks now I'm not getting a full picture here maybe that's time to scale back back to just uh, a one I'm not really liking the distance between these so maybe I'll increase the line dis the the line length to 20 every single one of these tweaks would have taken at least three minutes for someone who is well comfortable with the workflow of creating line types and editing line types and I'm doing it in just seconds to be able to come in here and edit the distances between if I want to double that we could go 40 I could scale this back and take a look at it and now that looks pretty good I'm not gonna have that gas main text cluttering up my design um, all the time click OK now I've got this one kind of looking nice now I probably should have gone back in here and edited the description to show that it says G slash M okay but now anytime I select this I'm getting this gas main versus this gas main now in that line type file I didn't have a water main I can either create new or if I know that I like this gas line right here I could just copy this we'll call it water main Now we want to make sure there's no spaces in the name because that doesn't work in the description we're going to call this water main and instead of g slash m let's just make it wm for water main now that's the description and the name now it's time to edit so I like the line I like the space I need to change the text I'll come up here and instead of G slash M I'll just put W as I click on to the next thing it gives me a preview I can look at it at a better scale here and that looks pretty darn good I'll click OK now it's not in this filter right now so I'll have to search for it 
water main looks good, and simply add to drawing. All of these ones have been updated. If I don't want to add all of these others, simply uncheck them, and we'll add them in. We'll save that lin file, and now we can test it out. What layer is this? It's existing sewer. So let's go to my layer manager and add that in. Continuous? No. We want our brand new line type, water main. There we go. Click OK. And water mains applied. It's so much easier to go through all of this and add and create and delete and edit all of our line types within this line type manager. Now, maybe that text is too small. I probably want it a little bit bigger, right? Now, there's ways to do that. I could go and change my LT scale. But if my LT scale is set correctly for everything else, I can come back in here, find my water main, and edit. We can go adjust that size to maybe four or five. We can double the size. And as I do that, that's getting too big here. So my Y offset should be negative 2.5 to half the size of the text. And I just need to adjust a space in the back end to maybe, might be 10. And that looks pretty good. We'll click OK. We'll save the changes, yes. And I forgot to insert it back into the drawing because we made changes. So I'll click the Add to Drawing. Oh. Click OK. and regen, and now I can see my water main. This is so much faster and so much easier to edit line types and create them all. And now if I go look at that .lin file and open it up, it really, it just adds everything to it. If I open up right here, down at the very bottom, I've just appended the line type file with my new water main and all of the definitions, but I was able to edit all of this in plain English. Now, I know it still says gas and that's my mistake, but I can delete that and save that file out. I can work from both sides of the coin here and have it all work together to manipulate this lin file in a much more efficient manner. So I could continue to build out additional line types for the hydro. Actually, I've got the hydro already um, and the sanitary and the storm. But I think at this point you get the power of this line type manager. Um, and at this point, I'd like to pass this back to Ramil to see if we can answer any questions that you guys may have about it. Great, thank you, Colin. The floor is now uh, open for any questions. So please uh, go ahead and type those in. Now, this session is recorded and will be available in our YouTube channel along with our previous webinar. I'll pass it along to your colleagues. Now, if you'd like us to show all the other CTC tools to you and the other members of your team, please let us know. Just contact us more. Then happy to do so.
So we just give it a few more seconds for any questions before concluding. Again, this tool is free for access to this and all the other tools in the SIM Manager suite. Please reach out to myself or your account manager. So I don't see any questions coming in. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your time. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day.